There are times when even the power of a Jaguar can't help. But Jaguar's new Intelligent Stop Start System can help you travel further between Phillips, and it can help reduce emissions when the engine isn't needed. Driving a new Jaguar with the Intelligent Stop Start is certainly a new experience. When conditions are right, it stops the engine temporarily. That's called Eco Stop. As soon as I need it, the engine restarts. That's called Eco Start. It's automatic and simple. Jaguar engineers did everything possible to make sure that the driving experience is flawless. Because the system is so transparent, this symbol lights up to let you know the engine is in Eco Stop mode. When I'm ready to start moving, the engine starts before I even get my foot all the way off the brake pedal and on the accelerator. The Intelligent Stop-Start system incorporates a tandem solenoid starter to achieve the stop-start functionality. This system is comprised of an upgraded starter motor to achieve instant restarts, whether the engine is stopped or beginning to shut down for an eco-stop. This change of mind functionality removes any hesitation in restarting the engine. There will be times when the engine needs to keep running, so the Intelligent Stop-Start doesn't come to an eco stop. For example, when it's hot outside, it keeps the engine running so the air conditioning keeps working. And it also keeps the engine on when it's cold enough that you need the heater. The owner's handbook lists the conditions where the intelligent stop start system doesn't come to an eco stop. This includes external temperature under 32 degrees Fahrenheit or over 104 degrees Fahrenheit, cold engine temperature, cold or hot cabin ambient temperature, driver's seatbelt unlatched, battery charge is shown below the threshold for multiple start-stop for a short period of time, and hood is open. Besides these conditions, there are many other situations where the system works intelligently. Let's take one example. If I pull up to an ATM, typically I put my foot on the brake and stop, and the eco-stop engages. Now I open the window and need to take off my seatbelt to reach my purse. When I unlatch my seatbelt, the system goes from eco stop to turning the ignition totally off. I know this happens because the eco stop light goes off and the gear shift goes to park. In this case, I must restart the car by putting my foot on the brake and pressing the start stop button. On the other hand, in the same situation, let's say I have the AC going, full blast. The system doesn't go into eco stop. If I unlatch my belt, car remains on and in drive. By the way, EcoStop will not engage at all if the car is in park. You should also be aware that when you're in EcoStop and your foot is on the brake, the engine may restart. This is because of another function, such as the air conditioner, needs the power. It even restarts if you turn the steering wheel just to ensure you can steer with no effort. If you want to turn off the intelligent stop start completely, all you have to do is push this button and the system is disengaged. It's back on for the next ignition cycle. I'd rather let the system work and travel a little further between Phillips. And I like the idea of cleaner air too.